Hello. We have a 2012 BMW 528 Xi and there's a wastegate problem. Uh, the car is throwing under boost codes. The performance is a bit down and it has a little rattling noise once you rave it up. I'm gonna rave it up right now so you can hear the, the actual rattle noise that I'm talking about. The rattle noise comes from the wastegate shaft. This is the wastegate right here. You got a shaft going to the actual wastegate door. And the reason why it rattles is because the wastegate got a bit loose and it needs to be tightened up. In this case, the wastegate doesn't close all the way. So when you're driving, your turbo is not spooling to the full boost. This is the wastegate rod that I was talking about. That's the wastegate. It's connected to the turbocharger. And you have this little 10 millimeter nut holding the wastegate rod from unscrewing. You gotta loosen this uh, 10 millimeter nut over here. So in order for you to gain a bit more access to the uh, wastegate, we're gonna need to remove the engine cover. Be careful, as I went to remove the engine cover, and notice this one little thing, the engine cover has a vacuum tank attached to it from the bottom. Um, it's a one piece with the cover, so if you break it, you're gonna need a new cover with the vacuum tank. There's two hoses over here, and one of them is broken off. Somebody worked on the car before and broke the hose off, try to glue it back on. Gluing these hoses will never work. So this guy is gonna need to get a new cover. And uh, this hose actually goes to the wastegate control solenoid. So that could be a, a problem as well. But in our case, the wastegate actually closes when you start the car up it's just not closing all the way and we vacuum tested the wastegate solenoid and uh, it's just not pulling the shaft all the way in so we're gonna need to tighten it anyways but we're also gonna have to replace the cover so there is no vacuum leak in this place over here so to remove the cover you pop the cover up be careful don't break the hoses off to disconnect these hoses you gotta press on the hose like you're trying to close it and there's two buttons on the sides of the connector and simultaneously pressing in it while you're trying to close it and press the buttons and slide the hose off then slide the cover out see somebody's repair attempt well this will never work so don't try to repair it if you broke yours you're gonna need a new cover now we get access to the to the wastegate. We're gonna need to loosen that 10 millimeter nut on the wastegate shaft. So yeah, loosen up that 10 millimeter nut over here. And bring it out to approximately how much you want to tighten up your wastegate. Go a little bit under a quarter of an inch. And then instead of uh, removing the actual wastegate shaft of the turbocharger, I'll pull the nuts of the wastegate itself and pull out the wastegate and twist the wastegate. There you go. Three 10 millimeter nuts on the wastegate. Pull some notes.
be careful, don't lose the nuts. Most likely it's gonna be very, very hard for you to find them if you drop them. So, try not to lose them. Now, pull the wastegate out of its bracket and just screw in the shaft to the point where you mark with the nut. So we're going to tighten it about a little bit under a quarter inch. Put the, shaft, the, the wastegate back in, put the nuts on. Don't do that. Good thing it went through. See, I dropped the nut, I got lucky. It went all the way to the ground. Most of the times it won't happen like that. Don't drop the nuts. Tighten the waist gear up. And now tighten the, the securing nut on the shaft. Make sure you do not move, leave this nut loose or your waist gate is going to get loose again. Assemble everything back how it was. Make sure not to break the cover. Well, we'll go the cover again, temporarily. So until the time we get the new cover. To put the cover in, there's two slide spots in the back of the cover. Slide her in and just pop it onto the rubber grommets. Reconnect the hoses. Careful, don't break them. Now put the harness mounts back into the spots. On the cover, there is a little hose. Clip it all in, start the car up, and check for rattle. The rattle is gone. Now take you for a ride and check for power gains. And you're all set.